This video will show you that there are very few changes in making a refrigeration repair on an R290HC system versus a 134A, 404A refrigeration system. When working on a hydrocarbon R290 system, make sure you're using refrigerant grade R290 propane and not standard propane. Let's first focus on the tools. These are the specialized tools needed to service an HC system. A leak detector designed to detect propane, these are readily available on the market. However, we also stock these through our parts department. The safety placard, R290 refrigerant, and the optional recovery tank. Next are the tools common to both refrigeration system repairs. And lastly, tools for servicing R134A or 404A, which includes a recovery machine, tank, and 134A, 404A refrigerant. The recovery machine and tank are not required for HC repair. Now let's show the differences in making a refrigeration repair. The repair we are going to show is replacing a condensing unit on an HC system. The first step in making any repair on an HC or 134A, 404A system is to correctly diagnose the failure. We are starting with the knowledge that the service technician has already diagnosed a failed compressor. Our HC repair starts with the service technician placing the safety placard in the area he will be making the repair. Then you will turn on the leak detector or gas meter. The next steps to replace the compressor are the same whether you're changing an HC or a 134A, 404A compressor. The service technician will install piercing valves to allow access to the refrigeration system. After the valves have been placed on the suction and discharge process tubes on an HC system, the technician can vent the refrigerant directly into the atmosphere. On a 134A, 404A system, the technician must recover the refrigerant in the system. Once the refrigerant is out of either system, the technician will cut the compressor pull out right where it brazes into the compressor. If the technician is replacing the condensing unit, as he is in this repair, he will then cut the liquid line as it exits the dryer. If he is replacing the compressor, he will cut the compressor discharge line right as it exits the compressor. Once the compressor has been removed, you will install the replacement compressor. This is done by cleaning the tubing ends and fitting them to the new compressor. The next step on an HC system is to set up the nitrogen tank to circulate oxygen-free dry nitrogen through the system. We recommend you set the nitrogen regulator between 3 to 5 psi and purge nitrogen through the system for a minimum of 2 minutes before you start to braze. We suggest you continue to circulate nitrogen through the system the entire time you are brazing. This is a step that many seasoned service technicians do no matter what type of system they are working on. We set the nitrogen up to start to circulate through the discharge process tube and exhaust out of the suction process port on the compressor. In this video we have a process tube in that does not have a Schrader valve core on it, so we have left the suction gauge hose off the system for the nitrogen to escape. If the fitting had a valve stem, you would have to connect the hose to allow the nitrogen to escape. Once the compressor is brazed into the system, all of the following steps are the same you would take if you were replacing a compressor in a 134A or 404A compressor. For any questions, please contact True's Technical Service Department at 1-855-372-1368.